Have you ever wondered, can you charge a liquid? Today, I'm going to show you how with my experiment, Alien Ooblek. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your balloons. This one is gonna get messy. We are about to make supercharged oobleck. Here's what you need. A balloon, a quarter cup of oil, a quarter cup of cornstarch, a bowl to mix it in, and a spoon. What we wanna do first is blow up our balloon. Good, tie it off. Okay, we're gonna use that in a sec. Now let's make our oobleck. So this is different than normal oobleck. In normal oobleck, you just add water. We are adding oil to this oobleck so that it flows more easily. So let's go ahead and add one quarter cup of cornstarch to our bowl. Then one quarter cup of oil. This is canola oil, but vegetable oil works too. And now just mix it up. So you'll notice this isn't really like the normal oobleck that you're used to seeing. This is a lot more oily because we want this one to flow a bit more easily for our supercharged experiment. Try to get all the clumps out. Whoops, it's already getting a little messy. The next thing we wanna do is create a static charge on our balloon. We are going to do this by rubbing it on our hair. And as we do this, we will be transferring electrons from our hair to our balloon, creating a static charge on the balloon. A static charge is simply an imbalance of charges, like when you have too many electrons, for example, which would create a negative charge. That's what we're gonna do to our balloon. So let's go ahead and charge our balloon. Okay, it's probably good. And as we do this, we are going to lift up our oobleck and bring it close to our balloon. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at it, 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 look at it. Look at the top of the spoon. It is pointing towards the balloon. Do you see that? Our oobleck is coming alive. Look how, whoa, that was a big one. Look at that. It's jumping towards the balloon. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, look at those spikes. So what's happening here is we created a negative charge on our balloon. And because like charges repel, we shifted all of the electrons in our alien oobleck away from the balloon. That means that the oobleck near the balloon now has a positive charge. And what do opposite charges do? They attract. And so because of the static charge on our balloon, our alien oobleck is jumping off the spoon to our balloon. The trick here is to get your balloon really close to your spoon and start to kind of spill your alien oobleck off. There you go. And then you'll start to see the spikes jump off towards your balloon. The static charge is a small force, but it's there. You just have to get close enough. Thank you for making alien oobleck with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science lab.